in the heart of Appalachia, a community is proposing a bold solution to climate change, a 328-megawatt wind farm. The wind farm would not only create renewable energy, but also save the area's last intact mountain from devastation by mountaintop removal coal mining. My name is Lorella Scarborough, and I live in Rock Creek, West Virginia, at the foot of Coal River Mountain, shown here in darker green. The wind farm proposal has become a symbol of hope for my neighbors and me as we fight to protect our community from the threat of mountaintop removal coal mining. These Appalachian Mountains are the oldest in the United States and home to the world's most biologically diverse temperate hardwood forest. Yet they now serve as a cauldron of climate change as the mountains are blasted apart to reach the coal. As you can see from the red mine site overlay, surface coal mining has destroyed over a million acres of productive forest land in Appalachia and has buried over 2,000 miles of streams with valley fill waste dumps. A coal company plans to mine over 6,000 acres of Coal River Mountain, shown here in black. As soon as we heard about the proposed mountaintop removal mine, we came together as a community and proposed a better alternative, a sustainable wind farm. It would provide permanent jobs for our community, not to mention renewable energy forever. A high-resolution wind feasibility analysis was commissioned, and the results showed significant wind energy potential for Coal River Mountain. Yellow, orange, and red areas on this overlay have excellent wind potential. As you can see, blasting away the tall ridges on Coal River Mountain would completely destroy the best wind sites on the mountain. Afterward, the elevation will be too low and the land too unstable for wind development. Our dream of a wind farm on Coal River Mountain will be destroyed along with the mountain itself. We also commissioned an economic feasibility study which showed that the wind farm would provide permanent jobs and more money in tax revenue for the county than the mine ever would. The wind farm would be a net economic gain for the area and allow for other uses of the mountain like ginseng harvesting, sustainable forestry, and tourism. Mountaintop removal would ultimately cost the area $600 million when you include things like increased health costs, water filtration, and soil stabilization. Once built, the Coal River Wind Farm would produce 320 megawatts of clean energy, enough to power roughly 70,000 homes. If Coal River Mountain is mined, burning the coal for electricity will produce 134 million tons of CO2 over the 17-year life of the mine. That's the same as driving an additional one and a half million cars for 17 years. Many community members have rallied around the wind project. For example, here's my neighbor, Gary Anderson. Uh, Gary Anderson, I live at uh, Sycamore. I'm right below, I'm looking right at the Coal River Mountain uh, range where we would like to have the uh, wind farm. With the wind farm, you would have the option of clean energy forever. Uh, and if we're going to continue to mine the coal, mine it responsibly and deep mine the coal the way my dad did. I'm the son of a coal miner, and, uh, but they left the mountains green and beautiful and you couldn't tell they were there. We need the people out there in the other states and everything to help us with this. The Coal River Wind Project clearly demonstrates that we are standing at the crossroads. We can continue depleting our resources and fueling climate change or create a sustainable, renewable energy future. Our community needs your help to build a clean, prosperous future. Please visit coalriverwind.org to learn more.
Thank you for watching.